Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 27th of July and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us towards the middle part of August and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just saying that first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. So please like share and subscribe on both of today's uh, videos. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. The CFS weeklies that we're using for this video are the same CFS weeklies that we used for last night's 10 to 14 day live stream. The CFS weeklies unfortunately haven't day, uh, updated uh, today at the CFS website. However, it's a very small stream, so uh, I assume most people won't have seen uh, the weeklies that uh, we showed you last night, so we're going to repeat those again uh, today. So, again, please like, share, subscribe. It shows everyone uh, for doing that. Oh, and by the way, all, of, all live streams are currently suspended, so there won't be any further live streams except channel members. So, if you want to see Gav Live, you'll have to become a channel member, or if you are a channel member, uh, then we'll do two channel member live streams a month. Otherwise, we're not going to be streaming uh, anymore. There isn't, you know, enough uh, interest in it out, uh, at the moment. So, uh, we'll perhaps review it uh, in a few months' time. I'll see. There may not be any more live streams other than channel members. Uh, right, okay, you're going to start off with the latest wind from that from EarthNullSchool.net. Show that got low pressure out in the Atlantic to the west of the UK and Ireland, and a weather system is through the country. And that system is going to be kind of grinding to a halt over the next couple of days. And as it does so, we're going to draw up some very, very warm to hot air to the east and south of that weather system. Unstable air too. So temperatures by Friday, by tomorrow afternoon, will be back into the low 30 Celsius down the south. But it is going to be humid and there could be thunderstorms and whatnot on Friday night and into Saturday. So becoming rather unstable. Central in temperature is now sitting at 18.7 about 2.7 degrees above the 61 to 90 average as per visual to the 15th of July very warm to hot um, first half to July we'll see that where that ends up of course in a couple of weeks these are the GFS of red temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks we'll look at Birmingham today the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham showing off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment we're going to see those upper air temperatures coming down and reverting closer to normal through next week and then hovering close to the long term 30 year average as we go through the closing days of July precipitation wise going to be some uh, quite uh, wet weather over the next uh, week or so now of course we've got the initial breakdown coming up at the weekend uh, and then next week looking rather showery rather mixed through the weekend into next week will be spells of rain could be a drying trend opening up again into the last uh, week of July we'll have to wait and see about that temperature Anomaly is for the next five days to the 22nd of July. Going to be above average precipitation anomalies to the 24th of July. This is a big change compared to what we've had through the summer so far. Coming out substantially wetter than normal. It looks like we're going to be in for uh, really quite a wet spell there. Uh, right, let's go for a chart data. Then, Miss Avalanche's UK met Euro Run. Looking midnight on Sunday. Low pressure southwest approaches. Uh, looking warm with a risk of heavy showers, thunderstorms. And that carries on into the early part of next week as well. Eventually, below pressure goes meandering off to the east. Some sort of transient ridge starts building up from uh, the southwest by the time we get through to 24th of July. Icon, again, with low pressure to the south and to the southwest, bringing spells of rain uh, with it. That low pressure then sitting over top of the country through Monday and Tuesday, bringing further wet weather as it does so and then we get through to the middle part of next week just a hint of the Azores side trying to build up from the southwest but not really successfully doing so up to that point the KMA again looking mixed with low pressure through the country bringing spells of rain and whatnot. And these unsettled conditions then carry on into the end of the KMA run. Guess the 29th of July, still with low pressure over the country. What about the GFS? Well, that's looking very unsettled too. Low pressure right through the country, through the course of next week. By Friday next week, a bit of a transient bridge building 
just to the southwest. But uh, other than that, we're flat and west. You low pressure north, high pressure to the south. And uh, that will bring further spells of rain in with it. We aimed up by 2nd of August with a GFS midnight run. High pressure blocking around Green Iceland. Low pressure over Scandinavia. So winds in from the north looking rather cool and unsettled. And then the GFS 6 said in comparison, again, low pressure is in control and in the ascendancy as we're going through the course of uh, next week. By the end of next week, bit of a ridge starting to build into the far south and southwest, just suggesting something a little bit drier there. But overall, keep westerlies coming, keep it quite unsettled. And quite a deep low developing around the end of July. That's the third year. That looks a tad autumnal, I have to say, with a low pressure being further spells of rain. Right, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure to everyone for doing that. Drop a comment let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Webbins. Get to subscribe to and show to everyone for doing that. GM, again with low pressure south to southwest. It's bringing further spells of rain uh, with it through the weekend into next week. Low pressure again sticks over the top of the country. Beyond that, some sort of transient ridge building out to the west and to the southwest, bringing drier and warmer weather with it up to days 8, 9 and 10. Quite warm and dry down in the south. A little bit more anticyclonic there with the gem. And then the East Yam, again, low pressure to the west and to the southwest on Sunday. Bring further spells of rain too. And then the low pressure goes meandering away to the north into uh, next week. Uh, high pressure tries to build from the south around days 8, 9 and 10. But so slightly. So it turns things a bit dry in the south and southwest. But overall, same mix uh, further north with further rain to come. And we keep the low pressures coming into the second half of July as well. So it's looking look like a fundamental pattern change that's going on right now over the next couple of days. It looks fundamental and it looks like it's going to carry us through. Certainly the rest of July looking quite mixed. Whether that continues into August, of course, remains to be seen. Uh, so this is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibet.com. Yes, there will be further showers and long spells of rain to come. Could be thunderstorms as well over the weekend moving up from the south. That's all to be firmed up on. Uh, and that to unsettled weather they last into next week as well. More wet weather at times there uh, all the way up towards day 10. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10. For the Icelandic Met Office, it gets 27th of July, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them, but Trovo, Scandinavia, a ridge out in the Atlantic that brings the wind in from a western or northwestern direction. So rather cool and showering. And then in two weeks' time, uh, these are the options that we've got. It gets to the 1st of August, 19 members of the ECM ensembles, building a ridge in from the Atlantic into West Europe, mostly dry. 18 with high pressure out to the west, a trough to the east, rather cool and showering, and 14 with a trough flow right over top of the country and to the east. So again, that's looking unsettled and rather cool. So, um, well, again, looks like a significant change that's going on. Most CFS weekly is finally, so these we showed you on the live stream last night, but we're going to repeat them today because uh, I haven't got anything else to go with. <laughs> uh, CFS hasn't updated. Um, hopefully, there'll be a fresh update from CFS tomorrow, um, or else Jeremy Friday is certainly going to be uh, off uh, tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, week one, 16th, 22nd of July, high pressure over Scandinavia, winds in from the east. Should be mostly dry and uh, warm there. Week two is going to be. Uh, so, more anticyclonic influence from the CFS, which is interesting. Week 2 is 23rd, 29th of July. High pressure again to the east and south. Brings up a lot of warm weather into that uh, anticyclone there. Week 3 will be the 30th of July, 5th of August. Low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. Winds coming in from a westerly direction. And then finally, week 4. Uh, it's going to be the 6th through to the 12th of August. So probably some sort of a trough through here. The hottest of the air shifting more towards eastern parts of Europe. Looks a bit mixed, but it's more around cyclonic influence for, week, for weeks 1 and 2 from the CFS compared to the shorter range vulnerable output. So a bit of uncertainty there. We'll see. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know. 
what do you think about this? All of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about gas. Well, get them to subscribe to. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, 10 to 14 day. If you do get an uh, update from the CFS the next four weeks, then we'll do Jeremy Friday. Otherwise, uh, Jeremy Friday uh, will be um, cancelled for this week as we won't have CFS to use. Right, well, you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.